Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand how to plot a scatter plot and how to plot a matrix plot. To start with, we will understand about scatter plot. As I told, we have a separate video on correlation as a concept. So what we mean by positive correlation, negative correlation. In that video, I have already covered how to draw a scatter plot, but we will try and understand about scatter plot one more time. Here I have a data where thickness of my final product is my parameter y. This is the output metric thickness in C2 column. And all these are x's which impact my y. So this is my y. This is x1, x2. So these are different x's which impact my y. Okay. If I have a single y and a single x, we call it as relationship between a x and a y. So scatter plot is a graphical representation to establish do I have relationship between a x variable and a y variable. So if I click on graph, the very first option will be scatter plot. And if I select scatter plot, let's say this scatter plot option is selected. We can draw a scatter plot with regression line. But at this point of time, trying to fit a regression line is not the scope of this video. So we will draw only a scatter plot. I will plot, uh, I will post a separate video on regression. So as of now, we will only establish relationship using scatter plot. So when I select this graph and if I say OK, I have an option to select my X and Y variables. So in this example, I'm going to consider my thickness as my Y variable just to understand how it works. So here, this is my Y variable. So thickness is my Y variable. This is my output metric and film density is my input metric. So I select thickness and film density and then I click on OK. So that gives me my scatter plot. So the relationship between the X and Y is established by the pattern that we get in the scatter. So here the dots are not packed close to each other, but still it starts from bottom left hand corner and goes up to the top right hand corner. So this establishes a positive correlation, but may not be a strong one. If it is, if it needs to be a strong positive correlation, then these dots have to get closely packed with the regression line. But in this uh, uh, example or in this analysis, we are not plotting a regression line. So this is an indication of a positive correlation. Okay, so this is about one X and one Y. Now let's understand about matrix plot. If you have one Y and if you have multiple X's to establish relationship between this Y and this X, we have drawn a scatter plot. So to establish relationship between this Y and this X, we have to draw one more scatter plot. Similarly, I need to draw as many scatter plots for me to establish relationship between as many X's. That's point number one. Point number two, when we are dealing with multiple regression, multiple regression is nothing but single Y controlled by more than one X. So when you have single Y controlled by more than one X, whether these X's correlate with Y is a question. Along with that, is these X's correlating among themselves? There's a concept in multiple regression called multicollinearity. We cannot have multicollinear X's in our multiple regression equation. So to explain more about it, as I told, I'm going to post a separate video. So as of now, we can understand it like this. I need to establish the relationship between my Y and X's. And I also need to establish relationship between my X1 and X2, X1 and X3. Similarly, I need to establish relationship between among the X's. Among all these X's, I need to establish relationship. And I should also need to establish relationship between my Y and my X's. So what I do, I click on graph. I click on matrix plot. He, this is a matrix plot. So I select this matrix plot, this option. And then I can select my Y as my first parameter. Then I can select all the X's where I need to establish relationship with my Y as well as among themselves. I can select all that. And then I can click on matrix option. So in this matrix option, currently you see full, lower left, lower left, upper right. So I'll tell you what will happen if you click on full lower left and upper right. First, let's click on full, then say OK. So when you click on full and OK, you get a graph which looks like this. Very difficult to understand. There are too many graphs here. OK, let's understand what will happen if I click on lower left. If I click on lower left, what will happen is thickness will become my x-axis and film density will become my 
y axis but actually it is other way around in our example i have told thickness is my output metric and all other are my input metrics so what we are going to do is we are not going to have the full option we are not going to have the lower left we are going to select the upper right and once i select upper right and say okay i get a graph which looks like this now what is this graph how should i interpret this graph so this thickness is my y axis film density is my x axis and the small scatter plot that you see here is the original scatter plot that we initially draw so in our graph just a minute so the original scatter plot that we have drawn this scatter plot is getting displayed here as an individual scatter plot similarly what is this top row this top row is actually the relationship between thickness and all the excess so this graph is thickness versus film density this graph is thickness versus tensile strength and you see tensile strength is having much strong positive correlation compared to thickness versus film density thickness versus air bubbles is scattered thickness versus air pressure is strong negative correlation thickness versus plug temperature is kind of scattered thickness with air pressure is positive but not strong thickness with vacuum pressure is negative correlation thickness with mold temperature is kind of scattered and thickness with the dwell time is also scattered so this top row that you see here is the relationship between the y metric and all the individual x metric so here you can identify those excess which is impacting your y and you can identify those excess which do not have a correlation with your y so that part is over now what rest of these charts tell me thickness and film density is correlating however film density and tensile strength among themselves they correlate so because this is a graph between film density and tensile strength similarly this is a graph between air pressure and vacuum pressure right so this is a graph between preheat and air bubbles so here what you will be able to establish is if you take film density film density with tensile strength film density with air bubbles film density with preheat film density with plug temperature so this row here talks about this x along with all other x the second row and this graph so if i want to understand about tensile strength the entire row and this graph together so tensile strength along with air bubbles tensile strength with film density tensile strength with preheat like this i will be able to establish if at all there is any relationship among x's so when you are doing a multiple regression when you have a single y impacted by multiple x's to establish relationship between the y and x's can look at the top row and to establish relationship among the x's you can look at the rest of the graph instead of drawing individual scatter plot we can make use of the matrix plot friends hope this video was useful for you to understand what is a scatter plot and what is a matrix plot how matrix plot will be useful for you to establish relationship between x and y and also other x's and y and x's among themselves thank you friends thank you for your time we will come up with more videos on minitab thank you